And you know, you hear about these instances where YouTubers will have their honesty moments. They'll come to the camera to make some confession. You know, I'm gonna quit my job and go full time. <laughs> all, all these different kinds. And then all the subscribers, you know, they'll be like, oh, you're so brave. Well, today I'm going to have a confession moment, but mine's a little bit different. And for this one, first of all, let me just say, uh, this video is not for children. If you are under 18, I advise you to turn off this video right now. Uh, parents, be warned. For this confession, I'm going to need my buds. All you guys out there who are my supporters, my wingmen, I need you right now. I need support and you know kind of like i don't know you know how when you get in an argument with your wife or with your girlfriend maybe they say oh you forgot our anniversary so you go to the bar and you tell your buds how you know your wife is just kind of giving you a hard time and they're they're like what a bitch and, you know they always have your back it doesn't matter if you're right or wrong Ladies, I know you do the same thing. Don't pretend like you don't. You go over to your, you know, painting with a twist, and you tell all your friends, oh, you forgot our anniversary. And they're like, he ain't good enough for you. He's such an a-hole. So don't tell me you don't do the same thing. And frankly, I need your support right now, too. So as I now get ready to confess, I must first ask a question. And I just, this is an honest question. I need to know I'm not the only one, guys. I feel very, very alone right now. I need to know that my buds and my wingmen out there, they're going to give me support. And they're going to tell me that I'm not alone. And as you can see, I'm very traumatized. Let me ask you a question. Straight up. Does that look like a tube of toothpaste to you? I mean, imagine, just for a moment, it's like 3.30 in the morning, like about a half hour ago, and maybe your, your, your eyes are blurry, you're, you're tired, you're going to get in the shower. You put your glasses on before you get in the shower? I mean, seriously, do you? No, you don't put your glasses on. And then... You know, you're going to brush your teeth. I mean, what are you implying, NRR? What are you telling to tell us? I'm not implying anything. I straight up brush my teeth with this crap. And let me tell you how smart I am. I'm scrubbing. Uh, uh, it's not foaming. Uh, let me scrub harder. Uh, tastes funny. Let me scrub some more. 30 seconds it took me to realize, you know, something ain't right about this. Please, please, please tell me I am not the only one. Now, if that's not bad enough, here is how I complete my humiliation. It's the second time. This happened before. That is my true humiliation, my true embarrassment. So today at 10.40 a.m., I have an appointment at Eyeglass World, where I will be seeing an eye doctor so that I can get some proper glasses that I don't have to put on and off and on and off and on and off like a robot. I'm not sure how that would have saved me, to be honest, today. Because again, I contend you're not going to put your glasses on before you get in the shower. That's my contention. That's my story, and I'm sticking with it. For all you guys out there who are laughing and you think this is so funny, well, maybe someday I'll think so too. But let me tell you right now, it ain't funny. You try going around with your mouth numb and you don't even know if the words coming out of your mouth make any sense because it, it, your mouth is numb and it tastes, oh God, the taste. You don't want to know. And you know what? <laughs> to make it perfect, this video is going to go viral. This is going to be my moment. 
This is what I will be known for. The itch medicine doctors recommend. Delicious. God only knows where people use that. Do you know some people put that on their balls? Some people, I'm telling you, I brush my teeth with ball cream. I want you to think about that for a minute. And please, please try not to think less of me. So today, we're opening up the Mystery Tackle Box Elite for December 2020. Stay tuned. Welcome back to No Redemption Outdoors, and here we are in the shop again. And you know what that means, another box opening. And this time it is the December 2020 Mystery Tackle Box Elite. Now, before I open this box, let me tell you that I've already gone through it. I did some price comparisons to make sure that what they quote on the, what's in the box card is accurate. I actually have some interesting findings there. So we'll go ahead and jump right in, and then I have a bit of an uh, analysis at the end to evaluate the value of the box. All right, so like I mentioned, I went through the what's, in the what's in the box card, and I looked everything up and made some notes. <clears throat> so we'll just go through one at a time. First item in the box, we have the Lunker Hunt Gambit Swim Bait. It is a 5 8 ounce, 4 and a half inch. Uh, weedless pre-rigged and you know Lunker Hunt, Lunker Hunt uh, is pretty well known for their realistic color schemes and this one this one I'd say has that same kind of realistic look to it it's very soft I can tell you it's it's uh, feels hollow see the hook is there Sharp hook. Oh yeah, real sharp hook. Now, I found this on um, Tackle Warehouse for seven dollars forty nine cents. Now, on the what's in the uh, box card, they have it quoted as I think eight dollars and twenty nine cents. What's interesting is that's their non member price on Shop Carl's. Their member price is five dollars and eighty cents. So. I took the Tackle Warehouse price because that's the one most people would pay. And so there you have it. That is the Lunker Hunt Gambit Swim Bait. All right. Next thing is the Guggen Squad Zinger uh, Spinner Bait. Uh, I've, I've come to know the Guggen Squad stuff to be pretty quality. So let's go ahead and get this open. Let me see if I can tell you. First off, this is uh, Sexy Shad is the color. This is a 3 8 ounce Colorado blade number two, willow blade number four. Sorry about all the glare. We'll get this out. You know, I gotta wear my glasses. Ugh. And it just makes the glare worse. Um, Alright, there you go. Nice spinner bait. Hopefully you got a good look at it there. Now, um, let's see here. They're showing it as six dollars forty-nine cents on the what's in the bait, what's in the box card. And when I looked it up online, I did find it on the uh, Tackle Warehouse site for six dollars and forty-nine cents. So uh, that validated that price. All right. Next item we have, I'm going to go ahead and grab this one. What the heck is that? Cooper hair. That's Cooper hair in my box. This day is just swell from the very beginning. All right. <laughs> River to Sea Goon. Uh, this is a 5 8 ounce, 2 and 5 8 inch in length. 
this is Scott, Scott Martin Goon. Scott Martin Goon. River to Sea Goon. Scott Martin 68F. The color is 23 Terminator, I guess. Look at the Cooper hair everywhere. What the heck? Oh, yeah. Look at that. I like that. Let's take a look at this at the bottom here. What is the uh, depth on this? Let's see here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. What does it say here? I'm not seeing it, guys. Maybe you do, but I'd guess this to be 10 feet, 8 to 10 feet. Be my guess. Now, they show this as eleven ninety nine. I was able to validate that on Tackle Warehouse. So, eleven ninety nine is uh, is the price on this. The River to Sea Goon, Scott Martin Goon. All right. Next, we have the Strike Pro Tournament Grade. What is this? Uh, the Beaker 90. Strike Pole Beaker 90. Uh, we're caught. There we go. Like like the, the color is really kind of cool. It's kind of a pearlescent and translucent at the same time. Gold that transitions into the black there. Silver on the bottom. White. Silver. Pearl. Knockers. What's interesting, well, it's actually silent. What's interesting, though, is the, the lip on this thing. I'm guessing that creates quite a, uh, quite a disturbance when you jerk it. Now, the Strike Pro Beakster, they show as $9.99. That happens to be their, uh, Again, interesting because when I look at the Shop Carl's website, which is the only place I could really find this, they show that, that the non-member price is $10.99, the member price is $7.69, but then they put it on the card as $9.99. So, which one do you use? I'm going to go ahead and use the $9.99 as the price. So, that is the Strike Pro Beakster at $9.99. All right, next is the sn uh, Sneak Attack Soft Swim Jig. Dynamic Lures is the maker. I'll go ahead and get one out. Now they show this as $5.95. I was able to validate the price on the Shop Carl's website. They show the non-member price is $5.95, and the member price is $4.17. So on the card, they show the uh, $5.95, which is their non-member price. All right. Good looking bait. This would work well through the ice. Tell you right now. That's, that, I would not hesitate to use this out on the ice. I think it would be great too uh, in the fall or early spring. So, all right. That is the sneak attack. The sneak attack. The sneak attack. All right, next up we have the Carl's Amazing Baits. I have seen some of the tank tests you guys have done on these. They look good, I will say. So, this is obviously black and blue. The uh, Kicker Craw is what they call it. And obviously their price, $3.99, self-evident. That's going to be on their website. Yeah. I think that'd have good action. Smells like plastic. That should, uh, that should work well as a trailer. Um, I would try that on a... Ned Rig, I'd try that. Little uh, ball head jig or something. What do you think? Nice stuff, I like it. I like their plastics. 
Uh, Carl's Amazing Bakes plastics are pretty good, I have to say. And they're, and they're reasonably priced, I, I also say. All right. Next, we have Weston. What is going on with Weston lately, guys? I am getting Weston on just about every box. And I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong. This is really starting to fill out my Weston collection because luckily I'm not getting a lot of repeats. But man, are they busy lately. What is going on? Uh, this is the Stickworm. Five inch, five pack. Uh, the official color here is black and blue. Just straight forward. Let me get one out. Oh, yeah. Seems to be salted. My guess is it's quite buoyant. We're going to get this in the tank. In the tank. We're going to do it. Try this out and see how it does. Watch for that, guys. I'll do that. Uh, I'll probably do that today or tomorrow. Okay, the Weston Stickworm. Let's see, what did I find that for? I found that on Shop Carl's for uh, $5.99. The um, that's the the uh, non-member price. The member price is four dollars and nineteen cents. All right. Next, again, Liquid Mayhem soft plastics. Been getting these in a lot of boxes. This is the package that includes the sample attractant. This one happens to be uh, Mayhem Thirst Swim Minnow in sunfish color. Go ahead, it's five pack. Let me just say about, let me just say two observations, uh, guys, and I, and I think that we YouTubers and all of us viewers in YouTube land are responsible, but have you noticed lately that the subscription boxes are giving full packs of plastics? Uh, they used to be pretty sneaky about putting in samples. I'm not seeing that much anymore. And the other thing I notice is they're being much more true to their MSRP pricing. I notice that there's uh, month in, month out, they get closer and closer to being absolutely accurate. I don't know, is it just me or is that a trend that, that I'm noticing? I digress. <coughs> this is the uh, Liquid Mayhem. So this is a paddle tail, obviously. And then you just apply, I assume inside this slit here, you can, you can apply this. Uh, I, I, don't know, I don't have an opinion about this. I, I Honestly, I've gotten a lot of these. I haven't used them. I haven't used them yet. I have no opinion, good or bad. They seem like they might be all right. Uh, I, I have no reason to doubt them. Let's see. These are... Showing as seven dollars and forty nine cents. Let's see what I found. Uh, I got these at Shop Carl's. Uh, again, seven dollars forty nine cents is their non member price. But uh, for this, for our purposes, I was able to validate the price from the card. And then we got one last item in the box. We have the uh, Guggen, Guggen Squad hammer hooks. Um, I do have a bit of a complaint. It is minor, but. Uh, this is something that I am seeing now. I just told you I saw some good trends. This is one that I still see and don't particularly care for, and you guys might disagree with me. But when you give me a pack of hooks, give me a full pack, it's no different to me than the soft plastics. I don't like sample packs. This is a sample pack, and this is a, a one hook each, size three and size four aught. Uh, they priced them at two bucks, so I, you know, a buck a hook. All right, pricey, but that's probably about right. But again, it's a sample pack. So, I mean, yeah, all right. I'm, I'm going to tell you, I view it no differently than the soft plastics. What do you guys think? I mean, if you're going to give me some of these, give me the five pack. I looked it up. I did find that everything is five packs. And so that's what I would rather have, you know mystery tackle box. I'd rather have a five pack. But I do like those hooks. They are good hooks. So 
I'm not complaining about getting the hooks. I'm complaining that it's not a full pack. That's what I'd rather have. All right, of course we have the uh, obligatory sticker. Catch Co sticker. I think what I'm gonna do is a plexiglass sheet and put all these stickers on them so that when I do the overhead view, you can see them on, on, the, on the table. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, we also have in the box a Guggen Squad Zinger card. I guess this is just telling us all about it. That's kind of different. I've not gotten anything like that before that really goes in depth in the particulars of the bait. That's helpful, I think. And it tells you where to fish it. Okay, that's cool. I like that. That is helpful, actually. All right, and then of course the dibble. The dibble, tips and tricks. And those of you who are familiar, you know, this provides you just little uh, tidbits of information. Very helpful, especially to new fishermen, but it's helpful to me too. I've been fishing for a while, but you wouldn't know the difference between me and a new fisherman. So I like reading these. Uh, okay, guys, that's everything in the box. And thank God, this is, this is one of those days, I can tell you right now, it's gonna go this way all day. This can't get over soon enough. So let's do our wrap-up. Let's do our summary. All right. Based on the values that I've quoted, and I will state them down below, and I'll put timestamps in, and I will put links in so that you can see for yourself and order these if you want them. But based on my research, the total value in this box is $61.38. Not bad. Now, the box cost $39.99, which means that there was an additional $21.39 of value in the box based on what you can buy these for online today. Shipping disregarded. That being said, if you evaluate this box as an investment, and for your $39.99, what are you getting in return? You're basically getting a return on investment of 53.4%. Not bad. 53.4% I would regard as a great investment. So not bad. Uh, now the next evaluation is more subjective. Do you like the baits that were in the box? Do you, will they work in your area, your region, this time of year, et cetera, et cetera. Those are subjective. Uh, evaluations that you have to make for yourself. But uh, hopefully this is helpful to you. I hope that you've enjoyed this. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed my pain today. <laughs> make it go viral, guys. Make my day. All right, it's time to get out of here before it gets worse. Let's wrap it up and say thank you one more time. Join me over at Instagram and on Facebook. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe, hit the like, thumbs up. And uh, I say thank you for doing so. And thank you for tuning in yet again. I appreciate you. And until we meet again, guys, take care. <laughs> Ya es un mal y no llores pa' mí, no eres tiré Te pongo diciendo, es para mí, no afecté Ya es un mal y no llores pa' mí, no afecté